Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be doing AOKP vs. Cyanogen Mod vs. Liquid Smooth. So let me, before I get into this video, let me start off by saying if you guys enjoy my videos, please make sure to go donate. It really helps so I could get future devices to review for you guys. Okay, so let's get into this ROM. I'll have the link down below for you to donate, and I'll also have the link down below for each single video. So I'll have the video review of AOKP, Sand Engine Mod 10.1, and the latest version of Liquid Smooth if you want to watch the full review. So about every day or every video that I post, I get a question asking, what's better, AOKP or Sand Engine Mod? Sand Engine Mod or Liquid Smooth? And uh, I don't like answering those questions every day. I mean, I do answer them still, but today I wanted to make a video showing you my favorite one. And my favorite one is AOKP. So uh, if you guys have watched my previous videos, I did say that um, the best ROM for the Galaxy S3 was AOKP. I really love AOKP. And there's just little features that really make me love it. One of those, even though it's a small thing, is when I swipe down, it gives me the toggles right away. I noticed that in Sand Engine Mod and Liquid Smooth, when you swipe down, you get this. Even if there's no notification, you get this, and you have to click this button to get to your toggles. And one thing I do love is, if you do get a notification, which I have right now, it will take you there. So it's not always going to take you here to your toggles. It's only when you don't have any notifications. See, as you can see, the notification shows up. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking that's a small thing, but let's get into some more stuff that I really love about AOKP. Uh, one of them is this. It was oh, it always is updated. I know there's some CM uh, nightlies, but AOKP, especially the different what versions they have for the ROMs, the one I'm running is Task 650. Sadly, that's only for AT&T, but it still has some of the basic AOKP features. And... Uh, it seems like they always update stuff, and I never have any problems. I've never had any uh, thing go wrong with AOKP, and I can't say the same for some of the other ROMs. Uh, one thing I did notice, 3.4 kernel. Right, he, AOKP was the first one to put that in. I mean, at least I saw. Maybe San Ijimad put that in before. But I saw it right off the bat, and he always updates it. And I'm sure it's with all the AOKP ROMs. And this ROM has the most customization. All the AOKP ROMs have so much customization. And how they split it up is just awesome. They, I mean, they give you all these choices. It's not all cluttered into one area. And you could tell, like, if you want to go in the lock screen to stuff, you just click lock screen. And I just love how they separate all this stuff. And they're able to give you so many features at the same time. And I don't know why, but AOKP has always seemed to be the fastest for me. Um, no matter what I do, it opens up apps quicker for me. Um, the benchmarks look better. And I just love it the best. Um, I'm kind of an AOKP fanboy. So there you guys go. If you watch my video and say, oh, which one's the best? Which one's the best? Now I'm telling you guys, AOKP is my favorite AOSP ROM. And probably my most favorite ROM. I mean, I might switch between TouchWiz ROMs to go back and forth to show you guys new ROMs. But I always end up coming back to AOKP because it's updated so often. And every single update makes it seem like it's New Year's or your birthday. Like, they just update it and there's so many cool new features. And that's just why I love AOKP. Um, I'm sure some of you guys might have different perspectives. But this is just my opinion, and I like AOKP the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, go ahead and donate to AOKP, because it really does take time to build these ROMs. And they do deserve it. And also, Cyan Engine Mod and Liquid Smooth too. I'm not saying they're good, uh, bad ROMs. They're also really, really good and fast. Just my perspective. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.